Hello, my name is Eggsbyte, and yes, what you are seeing is Minecraft, and every one of these pixels can be controlled using commands. If we set this one to 1, then we'll set that to there, and we can, if we go back to, let's say, 200, and then set that to 2, then it'll put that one, and each of these has a number. There's no really grid system, so it's kind of hard to figure out um, which one is the number. I, I was in a in a hurry and just wanted to make a finished prototype, and I didn't want to postpone it too much. So there's a lot of things that aren't as efficient as they should be. But yeah, you can control any number using commands. But I'm sure you're wondering how this works. Like this, this these aren't blocks. They're they're just solid pixels on the screen and I can like move my I can move around I'm pressing the WASD keys I can move my mouse and like it, it doesn't move but if I hit shift then I'm, you see I pop out of a creeper and on here are all of the pixels and there are a whole lot more pixels than there actually are being displayed in there I um I'm only displaying a small fraction of the pixels because um, I was having trouble uh, getting it to run efficiently with a large amount of shader with a large amount of, of pixels so I'm just doing this and actually uh, if I um get to a normal field of view there we go so this is what it looks like and we have this big uh, panel of signs and each one of them has a whole ton of pixels on them and you see if I um go in here and modify the command set this to one something changed I didn't see it um, let's change one over here. So if we go get rid of all these and hit all zeros and set that to one, we can see that the color of that pixel changed and I have a bunch of commands doing that. And um, over here you see this, this creeper and if I come over into my resource packs, turn off this shader, then um, once it loads I'm going to get back into the creeper there we go and once I get in you'll see that creepers have this like weird effect and this is actually a shader file that can be modified so if I take this uh, if I take the resource pack and add it again then if I get in I've oh, <laughs> wrong field of view field of view is very important I need to set that to precisely uh, 30, um, 34, I believe, and 34. There we go. And then with the correct field of view, then I have the shader to select the colors and put it as these pixels, and that makes it, that, that's what makes it seamless and look like an actual screen. Now, there are lots of things in this design that are very, um, inefficient and poorly designed, but it, at the moment it's just a prototype, and I want it to get I wanted to get everything uh, working so I could show this as my 100 subscriber special. Um, but yeah, for example, these, it takes quite a while to, um, at least compared relatively, to load one of these into the thing. I'm only loading like a fraction of all of the, the pixels for efficiency purposes because it's kind of slow as well as the shader. Uh, due to the really efficient way I was programming the shader, um, that is also um, much slower than it should be so um, I'm taking a lot of shortcuts at the moment because I wanted to get this released today and I didn't want to have to I didn't want to have to postpone it and I just wanted to to show this prototype but pretty much all of those will be fixed uh, somewhere down the road but I'm sure you're wondering how exactly does changing a scoreboard value um, modify a pixel on this screen and that's what I'm gonna tell you next because the shader would put the screen size at a fraction of what it would normally be, uh, I decided to temporarily remove all of the uh, pixel load files that wouldn't be used in this project, so it would be a lot more efficient. But for what what I'm about to show you is the standard amount of pixel load files. Every tick, Minecraft will run um, pixels.mc function, and inside pixels.mc function, it will then run a massive amount of other functions as you can see right here and each of those functions will then grab a 
scoreboard value for that pixel. It'll copy the scoreboard value into ctemp i uh, scoreboard value, kind of random name, but it's not really important. Um, yeah, copies it into that. Then it'll run the uh, color get function, and then after that, it copies the result of the color get function and puts it onto the sign, and then each um, like pixel what whatever through whatever will then run for an entire line of a sign, and then since pixels runs for a whole ton of those files, it then runs through and loads the color for every single pixel on the signs. And how the color get works is it essentially takes whatever uh, ctemp i is, and then it will then detect and see if it's between these values, and then it'll run the corresponding uh, function depending on uh, which range it is in and then after that it then checks if it's in these values right here and then it runs uh, more functions to help narrow it down and then finally here it checks within if it's within these values and then once that is finished it will then ha you it'll then have the the color and the, the actual um, the character that represents the color will now be loaded in the x tag of the item and then you can then copy the x tag onto the signs and over here in this chest is where this stone uh, item is stored and if we run this command then we can see all the um, all of the information stored within that data, and that's the that's actually the the data that the color get function was referencing. And it, so it grabs the it grabs the character out of this, and then it'll put it onto the sign, and then with the resource pack enabled. It will look like this. All of these colors here and you can see n not all of them have been assigned a color um, this is back when I was I was doing it manually and I decided that I didn't need to add all the colors to show it like I said I've, I've I've done a lot of these things only like halfway through but I've done everything at least part way in order to in order to get this prototype because I I wanted to to make it as soon as possible. But yeah, this is the project I've been working on for the past month or so, and de I decided to release it as my 100 subscriber special since they they happened at about the same time. And um, it's kind of large and complicated and has lots of parts, so if there's uh, something that I forgot to, to explain, then ask me about it in the comments and I can try to explain how it works. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more, and there will definitely be more on this project, as it's, there's all sorts of stuff that needs to be done, but if you want to see more, then subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!